Today, we'll talk about the important issue of short, scrambling for more money, even though they already have loans from banks that are worth more than a trillion dollars. They need more money badly. Capital based on what the U.S. Federal Reserve said about the loans given to non-deposit taking astonishingly. 13 figures have been broken by financial institutions like hedge funds and private equity firms. This sharp rise, a 12% increase in just one year, shows how hard these groups are working to get money by using investments as collateral and lending money to risky borrowers. Hey, welcome to an MC Daily. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get post notifications so you never miss an upload. You can also enter our giveaway, but please keep in mind that this is not a video about money. The rise in loans and investments in these kinds of businesses can be linked to a lack of oversight and openness about the risks involved. C-Type Groups, a recent partnership with alternative investment manager Luminarch, shows how the banking industry is trying to meet the growing need for funds from hedge funds and other non-traditional borrowers. However, there are concerns about the quality of the risk assessment methods used by banks, as shown by C-Group's lack of an approach to measuring the default risks associated with its trading partners. Long-term problems with risk management and internal controls have led to regulatory actions. Overleveraged banks pose systemic risks, and fee hikes for hedge funds whose performance has been lackluster and Visa's stock market performance show how precarious their finances are. The unprecedented rise in management fees, along with regulatory bodies' plans to raise margin requirements, makes things even worse for hedge funds and other leveraged entities. The recent change in volatility haircut schedules by regulatory bodies makes it even harder for leveraged institutions to meet their liquidity needs because they have to get more loans and put more financial burdens on their clients. These changes have effects all over the market, making securities less valuable for margin requirements and making it harder to meet regulatory thresholds. The changing views of business magazines like Investor, the way people feel about meme stocks like MC GameStop, and Virgin Galactic shows how the market is changing. In the past, articles may have been more negative about these stocks. Recent endorsements point to a possible change in public opinion or strategic maneuvering before expected. But the market changes, even though people have tried to change how people feel about it. The fact that short interest in an MC is growing shows how hard it is for shorts. As the number of legally disclosed shorted shares and synthetic shares grows at an exponential rate, it shows how strong an MC is against short selling pressures and how hard it is for shorts to navigate volatile market conditions. Moreover, the rise in short interest in an MC, which was shown by practical stocks, makes things even worse. Short sellers are in a tough spot because the number of legally disclosed shorted shares has risen quickly from 23 million to 31 million in a short amount of time. Short sellers are under more pressure than ever, and this rise, along with the possibility of a lot of fake shares, shows how strong an MC can be against coordinated efforts to sell short. Not only does the huge rise in short interest show that people are still negative about AMC, but it also shows how hard it is for shorts to cover their positions. Using synthetic shares, which don't have to follow regulatory rules, makes things even more complicated making the market more volatile and limiting liquidity even more. Shorts are also refusing to cover their positions even though they are losing money and the market is uncertain. This shows that they are still committed to bearish bets despite regulatory scrutiny and growing risks. Short sellers are still firmly convinced that a market downturn will save their positions. This is in contrast to how the market is changing, as shown by the changing opinions in financial publications. Retail investors say that meme stocks like AMC could be the next big thing. The growing support from retail investors, fueled by social media activism and collective buying efforts, is a huge problem for institutional shorts. It makes the market more volatile and goes against the way markets usually work. Additionally, hedge funds and institutional investors are using desperate strategies like fee hikes and changes to their leverage to try to get through the rough market conditions and stop their losses from getting worse. In times of uncertainty and volatility, retail investors are rallying behind meme stocks, which is changing market sentiment and questioning what most people think. The battle between shorts and retail investors is still going strong. That's it. See you tomorrow.